So Anchor came Ooh. out with new Nano, um, and I'm going to mess it up. It's something um, gallium nitride, and it's like G low, capital G, lowercase a, capital N. Um, <clears throat> it's a technology used in newer um, power adapters, mm-hmm. but they came up they came out with an update to their Nano series. So the Nano two. Um, came out the devices are are actually significantly smaller if they if you could ever imagine them to be smaller than the originals Um, and they come in 30 watt 45 watt and 65 watt uh, versions so you know most most devices will charge off of any of those Um, if you think of like high high speed ipad iphone charging with even down to the 30 watt and then going all the way up to 65 you're not going to charge your 16 inch macbook pro but you are going to charge your 13 inch um i like these because they're small you can easily fit multiple of them in a bag and most of all typically when you get down to this size and if you look there the anchor nano 20 watt was the white device on the left Mm -hmm. um that that doesn't have a collapsible uh like charge port and one of the things and i actually had this happen I had my Nintendo Switch um, power cord, and that does not have the collapsible prongs, and it punctured something in my bag, which mm. made me sad. The other ones are all collapsible, so I actually re- like I won't put a power charger in a bag anymore if it doesn't collapse. Yeah, um, <clears throat> those go in the wall and stay at home. Anything else that's collapsible goes along with me. Um, and I, I, I don't know. I really like the Anchor products. I've never had a problem with them. The size is perfect. Uh, and the fact that you can go all the way up to 65 watt. I wish they did sell one that was like the 65 watt with two ports that mm-hmm. would charge at 65 watts if you only plugged one thing in, but could split it, you know, 30, 30 if you plugged in two. Um, <clears throat> so Anchor, if you're listening, that's on my wish list. But <clears throat> these are super nice devices at a very affordable price, anywhere between thirty and forty dollars, um, going up in five dollar increments from the thirty up to the sixty five watt. I like it. I like it. So yeah, say up up to forty dollars for that. Um, yeah, just out of mind because I got I got the what, fifteen sixteen inch um, Mac Pro Mac MacBook Pro, but uh, that that could be it, those, those, that would, that would be nice. It would charge it. It would charge it. It would charge your 16 inch because i've i've actually gotten away with this if you're not under heavy power consumption or you know you're overnight and you're just letting it charge in the wall um and you're not really using the laptop but under heavy 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 power use don't don't have it support your laptop while you're editing in final cut pro Got it. Right. Got it. Or basically, or it's well, it's or gonna, any, it, your any, power's going to drain slower yes. than it would, but you're not going to gain. It's charge. just like when you take your your big ass iPad and use the little brick that comes with your iPhone, right? It's yeah, like, you're... well, <laughs> it's power's getting to it, but uh, not as much as you want to for what you're doing. So yeah, no, absolutely. So 